Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to write a short guessing game. And it's going to be using some new stuff, but it's mostly to illustrate breaks and breaking out of a loop. And in the last video, we talked about while loops and you can stuck infinitely in a loop or something like that. Uh, but what if you want to exit the loop when you want to exit the loop? And that is you can do that using uh, this break. A break is really just a statement that exits the given loop that you're in. So let's see this in action. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to have a council log that says. Actually, we're going to make this an alert. And an alert pops up on the screen, and it's going to say, "You have ten guesses." guess uh, 1 through 10. So it's going to ask you to guess a number 1 through 10. Um, and now if we just run this in the browser, this little window pops up that says you have 10 guesses. Guess 1, one to 10. Okay, cool. Now what we need to do is we need to ask somebody for a guess. But um, we also want to have a loop going, right? So we're going to start our for loop. And because they have 10 guesses, we're going to say i is equal to uh, 0, just like that. And then while i is less than 10, there we go. And then i plus plus. Now, to confirm that this is looping 10 times, we can say console.log. Um, and we can just have it log i and let's run this and then it goes 1 through 9. Of course if we wanted to see 1 through 10 we could add 1 to i and now it's giving us 1 through 10. Cool. So we're not going to introduce any random numbers in here or anything like that. So I'm actually just going to set the number um, the answer of our answer is equal to three. Okay, and our users don't know this because it's in the code. Of course, if they looked in the code, they could see this. And of course, this game becomes invalid after you play it once because it's always three. But um, that's something we'll fix in the future. Right now, we just want to get it asking for input, checking, and then breaking out of this loop if that number is equal to three. So. What we want to do in the loop is we want to ask for uh, their number, what number they're going to guess. So we can say, let's actually declare a variable up top here. And we can declare a variable without setting it to anything just by simply saying there, um, guess, and then semicolon, not with three s's though, just like that. Now we can say guess is equal to, and then uh, we're going to use this function prompt. And we haven't seen this function before, but it's sort of like alert where it's going to um, basically open up a dialog box and it's going to have a statement in it and it's going to say, what's um, quote, quote issue here? What's your guess? And if you notice, when I use this uh, single quote, it got mad because I was using single quotes to wrap this string. So if you change your uh, outside single quotes, to double quotes, you can then use a single quote within your text and it's no problem. So what's your guess? And right now, if we were to just run this app, it's going to ask me my guess 10 times and, uh, and it's not going to do anything, right? Um, but now we can write an if statement that says if answer is equal to guess, then do something. So if answer is equal to guess, then we can say break. Um, but only after we alert You guessed correctly. Okay. 
Cool. So now we are going to um, check, right? We're going to check to see if the guess is equal to the answer. So if you're guessing three, it's going to be equal. Then it's going to alert you guess correctly. And then it's going to hit this break. And now what's this break going to do? It's going to exit immediately out of this loop. If we didn't have this break here, even if you guessed correctly, it would still ask you for your guess again, uh, you know, however many more times until you get to 10. Now, of course, we want to let them know if they guessed incorrectly. So we can go ahead in here and we can say else and we can say alert. So this is going to be an annoying program with all these pop up boxes. But like I said, we can always make it better. So alert and it's going to alert. Sorry, try again. Now we can even have this prompt this to try again. Um, so let's go ahead and move this guess, this initial guess. We can move that directly right here. So now when our program first runs, it's going to ask us what's our guess even be uh, our guess even before starting the loop. Now it's going to start the loop. It's going to check to see if our initial guess was guessed correctly. And if it was, it's going to exit the program. Otherwise, we're going to want it to prompt us again and say, sorry, try again. So we can say guess is now equal to prompt. And then in quotes, please try again. OK. And so this application should be working correctly. And if all else fails, it's going to go through 10 times and we're going to somehow guess a number one through 10 wrong 10 times. Um, so let's try it out in our browser now. And now if we refresh our page, you have 10 guesses, guess one through 10. So what's your guess? I'm going to guess four. Please try again, seven. Please try again, one. Please try again. 8. Please try again. It's going to keep doing this until we guess the correct number. You guessed correctly. OK. And notice how it stops asking me. Now, if we were doing this in a while loop, this could run forever until they guess the right, um, until they guess the right number. However, this is only going to run 10 times. So, so we now have our first bit of like functional programming, right? So this is small bit of code here well, as you create a little miniature guessing game, and you can probably start thinking of ways in your brain to try to make it better. So my challenge to you is to take this code and using stuff that we know and just try to make it better in subtle ways. Um, and, and just see what you can come up with. It might completely fail and blow up, but that's OK, because that's the best part about learning programming, is you can just keep trying things. Um, I think it was. Um, I think it was Remy Sharp, but somebody uh, was having a, they had a quote that said he was watching his son try to jam shape blocks into the shape holes and he just jammed them in until they fit. And uh, that's sort of how his approach to programming is. And I thought that was excellent because you really just, you try things until they work and then you learn from that experience and get better. So try it out, see what you can come up with. As always, leave questions or comments in the video below. Hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or anything. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Once again, this is Scott Talinsky with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.